Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Eugenie Powell. I'm the founder and CEO of Tech Nomads, uh, immigration law firm and uh, tech relocation platform. Uh, we're going to um, continue today to talk about uh, Global Talent Visa and continue our knowledge series. Specifically today, we will discuss uh, Global Talent Visa application process in with the tech uh, nation and with the home office. Um, there is a two stages. Uh, first stage is application for endorsement, and second stage application for the actual visa in the UK. Stage number one uh, takes usually uh, to hear feedback and decision from the tech nation up to eight weeks. And the quickest procedure we accomplish with our clients is uh, two working days. So it's a uh, at this stage is our record. Uh, in regards to stage two, application for the visa, it takes uh, up to three weeks to hear a decision from home office. However, it de depends on the region and location that uh, where the applicant applying from. It might take up to two, three months. So, for instance, uh, if it's Russia and CS countries, it's two, two and a half months. If it's um, uh, Middle East, it's uh, about two months, so on and so forth. If it's Nigeria, it's approximately takes similar time. Um, some of the locations are quite quick. Uh, if it's UK, it's uh, maybe a very prominent as well. Um, stage one, application for endorsement. At this stage, a tech nation assesses your skills, abilities, and achievements, and also advises the home office whether you are endorsed or not. Uh, in the previous videos, you can you can have a look and scroll on our channel and where I'm explaining what is tech nation about and what do they do um uh, also you must apply first for the endorsement at the official global talent uh, visa website in gov uk and the complete application form and then apply for the tech nation uh visa application form in order uh, for you stage one application to be valid you must submit um all documents and upload all documents within 15 working days uh from the time you submit home office application. So this is quite crucial. And uh, we usually suggest our clients and how we do. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, all documents are ready before you submit in the first form. Uh, home office will inform you whether you've been successful or not, receive endorsement from Tech Nation. Yeah, if it's um, applicant is endorsed, then they can proceed with the stage, uh, stage number two. If they are not endorsed and then um, appeal required uh, then we can submit the appeal uh, about the appeal we will just um, record other videos as well so we will explain the reasons for the appeal and how to deal with this and how to cope with this uh, because it's not only client can might be not qualified but also it may be a mistake from the um, assessment body from the tech nation maybe they didn't spot some documents so on and so forth so <clears throat> it's a crucial to uh, to watch as well our future videos and follow us to understand more. At the stage two, once a uh, person has granted this endorsement, at this stage, Home Office considers immigration aspects, such as general grounds for refusal. And if you're already in the UK, whether you are able to switch to Global Talent Visa, also they, they look in the profile of the applicant from point of the criminal record, so on and so forth. And they're going to stay... Uh, you must apply for the on the official uh, Global Talent website, GoFuk, uh, within three months of receiving your endorsement uh, from Tech Nation. It's important to understand because it might be expired. What you're going to do next, and um, we can approach Tech Nation, but uh, highly uh, likely they might um, refuse them to extend the endorsement unless if there is a genuine grounds. Um, also, and then you receive decision from Home Office within three weeks, but we discuss it um, otherwise. If based on the, on the location you're applying from, maybe different time frames. Let's talk about Home Office fees and, and, and actual total government fees. Uh, endorsement letter fee, uh, it's when uh, applicants applying for Tech Nation. Um, he or she is supposed to pay £456 at the point of submission. Uh, then applica application fees of main applicant at stage number two, 
Then if they apply for with dependence, it's 623 uh, per dependent at the stage two. And international health surcharge, adult, 624 pounds per year. So you have to multiply by five, this figure, and it's paid on when we apply for the visa. It's uh, later stage number two. And international health surcharge for the children as well, you multiply 470 per child and per five, so five years, and as well paying at the stage number two. So the IHS fees and application fees for dependents are paid at the final, final stage. Uh, if you would like to have a clear and detailed assessment of your case for Global Town Visa in tech, in IT, then you can uh, see the barcode on your, on, um, on your right uh, side, and for me it's on the left-hand side, uh, where you can just uh, scan it and, and uh, fill in quickly within five minutes and go through the questionnaire and test and see whether you're pre-qualified or not. And if you have um, additional questions, you can email to us or just follow our website and see the, any updates. Thank you very much.